you guys so much for being here and for clicking on this video so today i'm actually going to be doing the um monochromatic look that i had posted on my story the other day so i posted a look that i did and i got so many questions on it so i thought why not let me just do a um video on it and um i did a poll asking if you guys wanted a video first and then everyone said yes so i was like okay let me do the little monochromatic look um a couple days prior i had did a q a um like ask me questions um, related to Miss New York and I got so many questions so I'm gonna be um, picking like top couple questions that I got that I want to answer and um, just answering the questions while I'm doing my makeup so I'm just gonna clip my hair back just to get it out of my face and first I'm gonna start with my Peter Thomas Roth uh, moisturizer which I've been using for so long next I'm using my um, hydro grip primer by milk and this is amazing for keeping your makeup on all day so whenever I'm trying to really keep my makeup on even under the masks I tend to use that primer um, just a disclaimer this is not an everyday makeup tutorial this is not a makeup look that I do every day. This is a look that I do if I'm like going out somewhere and I want to look cute. It's not too much. It's a very soft monochromatic look. It's not super intense. I'm not a makeup artist. It's just what I do. Next, I'm going to be using my favorite foundation ever. People are always surprised when I say I use this foundation. It's the Sephora 10 Hour Wear Foundation. They actually stopped selling this in the store. And it's only online now, which is so annoying. But yeah. So I'm just gonna go with the base first and then we're gonna head into the questions. So um, first I use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And this is in the color Light Beige foundation I was using is in the color 33 medium walnut and I just like to put it here um, now when I'm going out and I'm doing this look I like to do double concealers because I feel like I have dark under eye circles and I feel like it covers it best that way I'm using the NARS macadamia but next I'm going to use the Anastasia um, brow definer in ebony first I brush them through me personally I don't really fill in my brows a particular way I fill them in pretty messy and then I just go in and clean them up then I go in with a little bit of the foundation that I put on my hand and clean it up and I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos but I like to use my foundation instead of concealer because I don't like when my eyebrows look carved out. I like for my eyebrows to look as natural as possible. And obviously if you're using a concealer, it's lighter. Um, so I like to use my foundation because it's gonna be the exact same color. Or the exact color in my complexion. So then I go in with a little dual blending brush and just blend out. Go in with my bronzer which is my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast. Put that on there and then blend it out. So the first question is, what was your favorite process and what's next for you? Um, so I plan on doing an entire video dedicated to my Miss New York pageant. I didn't record much there. So unfortunately, I don't have content to post from the pageant. Like I forgot to vlog most of the time that I was there, which I know I'm so mad at myself that I did, but I was just so focused. Um, and like, it was a lot going on that I didn't think to pick up the camera and record, um, which is a good and a bad thing. Um, I made a lot of friendships there, like always. So it's amazing. Um, 
And I really spent most of my time just being involved and like making friends, which is the best part. So my process, again, I'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to this, but it was very intense. Um, I had months of preparation for Miss New York. I was training with about three different coaches and um, that's like pageant coaches. And then I also had pers a personal trainer. And then um, just blending it out with Beauty Blender. And then I'm gonna go and set it all. I'm gonna list everything down below because I don't wanna keep stopping between me talking. But whatever you see me using, I'm gonna list it in the description bar below. As for me, that was like <sighs> the most frustrating part, I feel, because it's like I, it was, only, this is my second time, or this was my second time doing a pageant. First time I had no training, no preparation, no nothing. It was just me practicing at home, literally just me. And so this time around, I knew that I needed training because I, I, I wanted to be the best that I could. And that's with any, anything in life, you know, like you want to be the best that you can in whatever you're doing, right? So you have to speak to people who know what it's like or who have done it before, who have that experience. So I got coaches, um, which I have listed on my Instagram. I was coaching. Again, I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to all of this and really get in depth with it. But they're just so amazing and I love them so much. What's next for me is just working and really focusing on my career and like the things that I want to do. So I'm actually in the process of a lot of things right now and I don't, I'm not ready to discuss <laughs> all of that just yet. I don't like to talk about my goals with the public or like with just anyone um if you meet me in person i'm super friendly and i'm very open like i'm an open book i'll discuss things that i've been through in my life of course but when it comes to like personal personal things like my goals i just like to tell the most intimate people in my life i'm gonna contour my nose with the hula bronzer and a little tapered brush so the next question is this is it really a question but please compete again for miss new york you will be miss usa 2022 thank you guys so much for like the little comments that you guys sent me like after the pageant i was truly just like uh, like just taken by with so much love and like support and it's something that i never really experienced in my life so to have it you know from strangers and from people online it's it's a blessing and i'm just so so grateful for everyone that has supported me and is here with me so i'm gonna use the day to slay eyeshadow palette by iconic london and the only color we are using is merlot mondays and I hit pan on taupe to taupe, but there are some little pieces in there. <laughs> and when I'm doing the top part, so I concentrate the pink Merlot Mondays on my lid, and then I'll mix those two, the taupe to taupe with the Merlot Monday on the upper part, just so that it doesn't look just like pink, you know? Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, and then I'm going to do just the Merlot Monday on my lash line. So the next question is, what motivated you to join the pageant? So it's a lot of reasons <laughs> why I was motivated to join the pageant. I don't even know which one to say. And when I got asked the question on the um, pageant, um, resume paper I kind of it sucked that I kind of just had to pick one reason why I was motivated because I have so many um, so one my grandfather passed away 
recently and like a few years ago in hopes of seeing me win a crown and seeing me sorry <laughs> and seeing me on tv and stuff like that and i never got to make that you know dream come true for him and i still want to make it come true because i know that he's watching from up above and i really just want to make him proud and just show girls that you can literally accomplish anything in life so that kind of goes into like my second reason reason as well which is i've been through so many things in my life so many things and i know so many win women have been through similar things if not worst or whatever and i really want to be an example that you don't have to let those things define you who you are like you can come from the worst upbringing and really truly just change your life around and work hard chase your dreams and you can literally accomplish literally anything that you want in life if there's anything i've learned in 2022 2022 i'm crazy in 2021 is that you can literally do anything that you set your mind to and that you work hard for like it's it's crazy and obviously when i'm done with all of my goals i'll go into more depth about like everything that i've been through and like career-wise that I've accomplished but um yeah I went through a lot of things in my life third reason being what motivated me is my really good friend Natalia Harris um I'm really close with her family um her mother was actually my professor when I was in college and that's kind of how I met her but she I'm telling you was like the most genuine sweetest person I think I've ever met in my entire life and um she was fighting cancer for a while it's just so empowering and so motivational like everything that she did in her life like was with such grace and happiness and love and it, it's truly inspiring to me and um she passed away not too long ago and you know, of course, I asked her family's permission to, like, talk about it and, you know, um, share how she was my inspiration. Um, and, of course, they gave me the, their blessing. Um, but it, it, it was really sad. It was more sad because I found out through social media, like, I... And it was days after that I realized, like, I remember scrolling through Instagram and I just thought of her mom and I went on her profile and I saw that she passed, had passed a few days prior. And I was just like, it just really hurt and it still hurts. But on to another um another thing that motivated me to enter the pageant is um i have a baby sister she's five years old and just seeing her in the crowd whenever i'm like on stage um it just really motivates me so so much like i can't even express to you the feeling of happiness that i get from like just having my little baby sister like cheering me on like it's an undescribable undescribable feeling and i'm forever humbled by it and just it's everything i want in life like if there's any feeling i could have of joy in life <laughs> it's that it's just seeing my sister like my baby sister like i practically raised her i helped raise her with my mother um because I was 20 years old when my sister was born. So I'm 25 now, she's five years old. She was born when I was 20. And so I really learned to be a mother in a lot of ways by raising my baby sister. And 
she's like my baby i tell people that all the time i'm like she's like my baby i swear and i don't live with her anymore i'm in my own place but of course my love has never changed and will never change but she's my biggest biggest number one inspiration in the entire world um to just always do the right thing and be a role model and to show her that she can do anything that she wants in her life as well but um yeah so that's that question and sorry if i got super deep but um that's just what it is um next question is what made you want to join so that's kind of the same so i'll leave that for both next question what was the overall experience of the process and would you do it again <clears throat> before i answer um, I'm just gonna go and add blush. So when I do the monochromatic look, I like to go in with the eyeshadow as blush because again, it just creates that monochromatic look. I'm gonna go in and highlight with my Cover FX Enhancer Custom Drops. And this is in sunlight. So the overall process and experience, like I said, I'm gonna do like a whole video about like the pageant stuff and like everything I went through because it was so many things that went wrong again. Um, but yeah, the process was just me um, coaching with about three people, it was like every single day I had something to do. Every single day it was super, super hectic. And I have a, a job. Um, so on top of like prepping and training for the pageant, I was also going to work and everything like that. So my weeks would look like, it was just super crazy. It was like, I would wake up at seven in the morning, do a call with genesis and then go to the gym and then go to work or like go run errands to do things for the pageant or for my career and um come home do another call um and then at night prep again like paperwork stuff that i had to do the next question what was the hardest thing about the preparation process the hardest thing about the preparation process was that I hardly had any time for me or for my social life. It was like I was working 24 seven around the clock and every time that I would tell people that they never understood or maybe they didn't believe me and it was kind of just like, oh yeah, um, like yeah, that's everyone type thing and it's just like, no like i literally don't have a like I, I don't have a break i don't have a moment to breathe until i go to bed like that's how my life was and that was the hardest thing about it it was just like obviously i was going through things in my life too like my life just isn't pageantry or my job like i have you know relationships and i have things that goes on in my life things happen on a regular day basis so it's like I was dealing with a lot of things at once. I was also going through a breakup at the same time and then going through other things in my life. And it was like, I was trying to be there for myself emotionally, but I didn't even have the time to be there for myself emotionally. Um, I would set out probably like an hour every night for me to meditate, journal, pray, and just like really give myself me time. And it did help. Um, but it was just really, really hard to not even like have time to see my family and like I was always doing something because I wasn't just prepping for the pageant. Prepping for the pageant took a large amount of my time, but I was also prepping for my career, which was also taking a large amount of my time as well. So it was like both things combined on top of going to work and being a model. It was like four jobs. 
at once. So it was very, very difficult. Next question, what was your favorite part about the whole experience? Um, if we're talk I'll tell you my favorite part about the process and then my favorite part about like during. Um, let me just put my mascara. I'm gonna use Nude Liner 1 first, all over. And then I'm gonna use Nude 3 around the edges and kind of blend it in a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. And then, um, that's it actually. So my favorite part about the process, again, was just like the good times with Hennessy's and Isaiah. So they're super, super funny and it's kind of like a real friendship and Hennessy's is Dominican like me. So <laughs> it's like, she's like my mom in a way. Like when I work with her, she reminds me of my mom um, in a good way. And <laughs> she's just super funny and she's just, I just love I love working with her and she really is super inspiring and just fun to be around so the part about the pageant I say this all the time and I know it probably sounds so cliche to say but it truly is the making friends like I swear to you from the first day I went I had about 20 minutes in and I already made a friend. Truly, truly the best part for me, like you guys make the experience the experience for me, like I swear. And there's a lot of girls that go and they're not thinking about friendships, you know, and that's fine too. But to me, it's really the best part because it's like, we're all in this together. We're all feeling the same thing. You know, we're all stressed out. We all have anxiety. We're all anxious. We're all, we're going through it all at the same time together. And it's crazy because even though these girls are competing with you for the most part, they're still super supportive. Like Myra, for example, and a lot of the other girls, they were competing against me and they were still telling me like, you got this, like, don't worry. Like, got this like you just gotta you know and like just motivating me and that's really what friendship is about like and also seeing your family in the crowd and seeing everyone come together it's like so humbling and so beautiful like I, I don't even have words for that feeling of like having your family in the crowd like cheering you on family and friends it's like thank you for being here that was the overall preparation process so again I mentioned that before um it was crazy it was a lot of things what are the steps you had to take to compete so again the steps I had to take to compete was getting a personal trainer getting um, pageant coaches um, if you don't know what a pageant coach is is someone who helps you with your walk your talk help they'll help you with your interview form so people don't know when you enter a pageant it's not just beauty it's not just looks you actually have to give them a resume and on that resume you tell them about yourself and why you're deserving of the title in a sense. So my sponsor was Space 5 Records, which is my uncle's um, label. And I'm so, so eternally grateful for my uncle, like for everything that he did. It was such a crazy process. Like I said, that's a story for another time. <laughs> um, I'm just grateful that I had someone to help me because it's really just been me for so long. And the last one is, tell me you're running again. So, <laughs> I don't know guys. Um, I'm still like going through so many things in my life and in my career and things like that. Um, but I will be dropping a video um, when I like, or uh, on Instagram. I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet when I'm deciding like exactly what I'm going to do because that has been like the top question that I've been getting. I've been getting so many messages. I'm probably going to announce on Instagram if I'm going to do it or not. Um, but I literally, so many people from Miss New York started following me and they're all like DMing me like, 
tell me you're running again, tell me you're running again, you have to run again. Everyone, literally even at the show, were like, you have to do it again. Even the girls I was in the top five with, like, you have to do it again. And coaches telling me, you have to do it again. And I was just like, it's a lot. So there's obviously good and bad to everything. Um, there's not many bad to um, my experience personally. However, you know, right now I'm working towards getting a life coach and really like getting myself mentally there, being there for myself mentally like I wasn't able to when I was prepping because I had to do all these other things. All I could really give myself was like an hour of me time at night. Um, so now I'm trying to give my mind the support that it needs as much as possible and a lot of people don't know it's like it's a beautiful thing to enter the pageant and make friends and all of that good stuff but when you work so hard for something and you get so close and it doesn't happen i'm still so grateful for it and like i loved my experience and everything nothing but good things to say but you kind of start to doubt yourself sometimes when you're like i worked so hard what did i do wrong you know that's what you start to tell yourself like what did i do wrong and so i'm just trying to get myself mentally in the right state of mind before i decide to do anything else so i have not decided but i appreciate you guys so much for um, supporting me and encouraging me and telling me to go again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so blessed and honored to have you click on this video. I hope you subscribe. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Um, I'm gonna do the um, pageant video when I talk like in depth about everything. It's just really hard. Um, comment below if you think I should do a live video talking about the pageant stuff or a YouTube video because it's so many things I feel like it's gonna be like an hour long video of me talking and I don't wanna bore you to death, but it's so many things that happen. I promise you, like it's so much drama that goes on with the preparation and stuff. And I just really wanna make sure that I'm like really catering to you and like answering all your questions and being as specific and as helpful as possible. Cause I've gotten so many questions on my gown too, which again, I'm gonna include in the video. I got so many questions about my gown, which wasn't even my like ideal gown. It wasn't the one that I had gotten made. It, it was so many things went wrong. Like I said, that's another video. So just give this video a thumbs up. And um, thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys soon. Love you guys.